Um, so I'm going to go over the drum sampler and the uh, new uh, saturator. So there's some cool stuff you can do um, messing around with the uh, decay and the length of the sample. All I really did was put um, make a kick and kick two and then top, toss it in here and just started messing around with it. Um, I added a bunch of different knobs here. Um, I'll go over and um, kind of like showcase a little bit of the stuff and then also um, recreate it. So, so let's go, let me, um, I'm going to duplicate this guy, um, this sort of res-like base, um, and then I'm going to kind of like delete the automation on all these knobs. I added all this modulation so we can add character to it. Um, right, so the decay is just, just like the... The decay does as you would expect. Um, adds to the tail. Um, high character is I added some width. So I added this uh, knob here, so you can have it sound really like thick, and then you can just add a little offset. And basically what this knob does is it turns on the vocoder and then also modulates the uh, shift, um, the wetness, and the format, um, as you can see here in these two channels. There's a couple sounds in here that's like a little bit too much on the thick end of the sub, so you kind of have to tame it. Um, but there's just, you know, there's a couple good ones. So that way you're not just getting the dry signal, you're also getting a little combination of different types of character, which is just using the standard um, uh, stock plugins. Um, in fact, I think everything on here is stock plugin. Um, I also added the saturator. So this right here. So with the new saturator, Basically, what I did is I added color to the curve. Um, the curve is essentially, um, I could be wrong on this, but I think what it's essentially doing is kind of compressing the low end here and really pulling out the highs. Because if I move it all the way up, you can't really hear much of the low end. Um, this is cool because it kind of gives you a little bit more control on where you want the drive to hit. Um, and in doing this, this is why I have, we have all these different knobs that we can make different character from. You know, it's, and then you can just add LFOs and see see what happens. Um, for this right here, um, I have the attack, the decay, the uh, loop offset. This is actually kind of cool. So it's gonna change the um, the offsets right here. So you can choose where you want it in the sample, which also gives you a totally different tone. Um, another cool thing is you can do the length uh, here, which is 
you can see how it's increasing the length here. Um, I mapped it so that it doesn't go through the whole thing because it seemed pointless, but. So maybe if we did something like, like this, let's just duplicate this. And then uh, pull this back up. Let's actually loop it, this section. I'm gonna loop it and then. Hey, you get some pretty cool stuff there. This by itself. to get rid of that loop um, and then this one um, is doing a little bit more with the loop length so pretty cool I was just looping this whole section and essentially um, Fucking around with different tones, so you can different different forms of uh, modulation and, and the automation here. You can see there's all sorts of stuff. Um, I kind of just like threw the drums together, um, but since I did make a new drum. What we can do now um, is actually get into, um, I'm going to resample this. Drum sampler. And I'm just gonna move this here. All right. Um, we can loop it just like I did before. Transpose probably. Yeah. So you get that. Yeah. So you have to also make sure that it's fit. So if you want this to be a, essentially a, um, a, a, a zero scale, um, like that then you'll have to um, transpose it, at least in this case. It's kind of cool.
That's funny. That's actually pretty good. <laughs> you just add an auto pan and be basically the same. Uh, let's do that. That's cool. 